Well, welcome back to Hammond Stadium. Here's this afternoon's starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox. It'll be Kiki Hernandez leading off. He'll be a shortstop. Marwin Gonzalez, former twin. He'll bat second, play second base. DH batting third for Boston. It'll be J.D. Martinez. Five and four will be the right-hander, Jose Barrios. Figure that out on the fly. 2-2 delivery, and that one is lined over a leaping Zue Lin and into the left field corner. That'll be a base hit. Big turn at first base for Hernandez, thinking two all the way, and the throw in from Kyle Garlick a little bit late. It'll be a leadoff double for Kiki Hernandez. Nobody out first inning, and this ball popped up back at second base. Long run back for Romine, and he will make the basket catch off his left hip. Fire back to a rise at second, and they're going to double him off at second base. So they double off Hernandez at second base as he took off for a home on a little blooper to center, Danny. And infield straight away, two out empty bags, and a swinging miss. He struck him out. The first strikeout for Barrios. He'll send Martinez back to the dugout, and the Twins, despite the lead double by Hernandez, throw up a goose egg. And playing second base, Luis Araiz. Mitch Garver in the lineup. He'll be behind the plate batting second. D.H. Nelson Cruz, he'll bat third. Jake Cave in center field bats fourth. Will be the right-hander Nick Pavetta. Pavetta last year, 2-0, played with the Phillies and traded over to the Boston late. Again for the Red Sox, Hernandez Gonzalez Martinez. 2-1 is smacked on the ground towards second base, and Marlon Gonzalez picks it up and throws out Luis Arons. Every convenience store in Georgia. Barber hits one high in the air to right center field. Get us after it. He's at the base of the wall looking up, and it's gone. Mitch Barber with his first home run of the Grapefruit League here in 2021. Let's circle the bases with one nothing Twins. And Danny, not only is it good to see Mitch with that short, quick power stroke, last year when he had so many struggles. Form, they think that there's still a big upside on this right-hander. Ground ball left side. Kiki Hernandez has it. His throw is low. 2-2 pitch. Cave hits it right towards the second sacker, and that's Marwin Gonzalez. He'll pick it up, fling it to first, and the Twins are retired in the first. Well, I would take it a step further. Uh, we actually think that Twins baseball can play a really important role in, 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 in getting our downtown back moving and, and bringing people back. Arenas are going to uh, change along with them. Well, speaking of normal, Jose Barrios goes 0-2 on Vasquez and then strikes him out swinging a 1-2-3 inning for Barrios, including his third strikeout. Back into early May, there will be an alternative site. It's a hard ground ball to short. And he's going to be a high throw, and Garlic will be safe at first base in an end throw from Kiki Hernandez. Yeah, rooted in health and safety for, for fans, for players, for staff. And some of those protocols are going to create some change. So things like the ceremonial first pitch, where it can be thrown. Uh, just uh, on that, what about the celebration of the... 30 years of the World 100%. Series. So maybe he doesn't need as much credit as, as we're going to give him. Lynn hits this one to center field and deep. Gaddis going yeah. back, has room in front of the wall. He'll make the catch and put it away. Dave, we appreciate it. Your insights, your time, and your Thank leadership. You. And uh, we'll see you again down the road. He had eight home runs last year. And here's the pitch. That ball's hit high in the air. Right center field did well. Cave tracking. He'll pull up, and that one's gone. Well, Dahlbeck, his homer here the other day, went in the same spot. Good power the other way. And anytime you get behind three balls and one strike to some of the power hitters, that can happen to those guys at the back end. To be able to have a swing and a miss pitch, there's a weak tapper to the shortstop. Going to be fielded by Romine on the run and off the mark on the throw. Have a tendency to slow down a little bit, runners on base. There's a ground ball, hard hit, base hit into left center field to the left of Romine. Prey is going to advance to third base to be held there as the throw comes into second base. Well, Geddes with a double. He's been 62-64. There's a line down the left field line. That's trouble. That's going to score one. Here comes the base runner from second, Geddes. And that's going to get Kiki Hernandez into second base. Two RBIs. So the Red Sox have tied it up with a homer and now have taken a 3-1 to one lead with the second double. Hit hard to left field, and that's going to roll to the wall. Martinez around first. He'll try for two, throwing to second base, and it's off the mark. 
So another double as he strides in. He closes up pretty good. Lined into center field. That's going to be caught by a diving cave. Nice play. J.D. Martinez has to hustle back. But another ball hit hard in Jake Cave. But again, it's going to set up inside on him. And the pitch, we're going to miss, got him. Nice slider right there. So Colomay departs. He gave up four runs. Is the equipment, the wood, having swinging a aluminum bat. There's a strike three on a breaking ball. Old Uncle Charlie, that locked him up. And that one's fisted into shallow center field. And that should be it, a three-up, three-down inning for Edward Bizzardo. What they're looking at beyond just one simple metric. And this is that one down the right field line. Vasquez will hold up at first base as Rooker gets it back into the ball. You know, not real physically strong. That ball's crushed again into right center field. Cave will turn around, and that one's gone. So Dahlbeck, second home run. That's a two-run shot. And now Boston leads six to one. Danny, when you're a, a target shooter, whether it's a rifle or, a, or an arrow, they talk about shooting a tight group. Darts is the same way. Two and nobody on, six one Boston. And that one's outside. College in Chapel Hill. They are running and the pitch is outside. So back to back walks. The masks on, they don't know who's yelling. They can't see the lips moving. Here it is, and he walked him. So three walks, and Rocco is going to jog on out. The command of the breaking ball nowadays, good first pitch. Lined into right field, that's going to be a base hit. That's going to plate one. They're waving the other run around from second. And like that, they're adding on at a base hit single. Driving in two is Marwin Gonzalez. To get the monocular, it cost half as much. Lined into left field over the head of the shortstop, Romine. That's going to play it another one. There's the ninth run in. There's, the, there's a chance he could come back. There's a line in the left center field. It's going to land for a base hit. Cave to get it. They're going to hold up Ruse at third base as the throw gets back in. Nobody out. Base is loaded. Five in. Lined into right center field. That's going to land for a base hit. That might roll the wall. That can clear him. Yep, one in. That was the base runner from second. He's going to in, and the Munoz all the way from first base. So that's going to be a bases clearing double. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss got him. He's out number one, and listen to the crowd. Great for league sarcasm right there. And... Dahlback will not get the at bat as the team will come off the field here. The Twins got it out. They shut her down that eight run fourth ground ball shortstop. He field it cleanly and a strong throw over to first base. Dahlback still in there. There's a padded wall down there. And there's a fly ball right field hitting well again. Rosario back, still back. He'll look up. Gone. So Garland. Opposite field home run. It's now trail. 12 to 2. Well, he's here for right-handed power. It's his second home of the spring. I think we'll start calling we'll call those garlic flies. And a pitch for pitch walk. During that 60-game sprint. Yeah. Yeah, the swing and a miss. Romine chased something up. And there's the third out. Twins will push one across on Garlic's second over in the camp. They strand one through four. It should take a while before he's looking at you. Just getting all of that synced up. Sure. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's a guy that pitches the glove, so he, he wants you to put the glove. Uh... And a swing and a miss right there. And Puello goes away, down. To pretty good right there. You know, it, it seems like. Oh, ASU guy. ASU guy. Yeah, ASU. I'm sorry. Ball's hit down the right field line. Might be playable. And that's going to land for a base hit. And Lynn's going to try for two, and he's going to make it easily. Seeing that, and you certainly hope for the best for Jason Rosario. You don't want to see anybody with any level of injury this early in camp. And One at bat so far. He struck out his first time up. It's this ball down the right field line. That might be trouble. That's going to land for a base hit. Going to hold the runner up at second base. Lynn has that throw, strong throw. And sometimes you make a wrong decision. 
And this one is outside. Arise takes the walk. And that loads him up. And here's the pitch. Ground ball could be two. Fielded by the second baseman. He'll take the out at first. Well, the Twins do get a run. Lynn scores with the third run of the ball game. Showing up a little bit as erratic and short. Well hit left field off the bat of Cruz. Gone. You can't go 2-0 -oh on Nelson Cruz and lay a cookie in there. A three-run homer for Nelson Cruz on a fastball. And listen to the fans on their feet. And that booing, they're saying Cruz. And a 2-2 on the way. Ground ball to hold short, backhanded by the young shortstop. Downs and a strong throw to retire Garlic. Twins pick up a couple of runs, four. He run homer by Nelson Cruz, new score. Yeah, big swing in this by Downs, and down he goes. A strike after the Albers, and there's one away. He says, you know what? We could use a left-hander that throw the ball over the plate. Throws it over the plate, and it gets smacked into left field by Aruz. Garlic will pull it out of the corner as Aruz spins for second base, and it's a one-out double. 13th hit of the day for the Red Sox, so they've got a man aboard behind Albers. As this one lashed into left center field, that'll drop for a base hit. A ruse around from second. He's going to score. Jairo Munoz with an RBI single, and it's a Baker's dozen in the run column for Boston. They lead it 13-6. to six. And he hits this one hard into the gap in right center field, and we're going to see the wheels. He's turning hard around first base as Celestino picks it up off the wall, and he'll chug into second. The lead runner's going to go to third. Ball gets away from Nick Gordon. Duran goes all the way to third base. It's now 14-6. to six on an RBI double for Jaron Duran and a miscue by the Minnesota Twins. You know, zipping around the bases. It's a big swing and miss by Cotton. Strikeout for Albers. He doesn't have to run. He will walk purposefully back to the dugout. Here's the full count pitch, and Rooker smacks one into the ground. Slow roller up to third. Bare hand play there by Munoz. No chance to get Rooker, and Rooker will leg out an infield hit. Gordon hits one sharply towards second, flag by Aruz, goes to second for one on the relay, back to first in time for a 4-6-3 double play. Absolute revered figure in Rochester baseball for years and years. Used to join Josh Wetzel on the radio, and he has a big hit family there, and they are in mourning, and so are we. So, again, rest in peace, Joe Alcabella. Everything as he comes set, and you can just tell he's... Big swinging miss. He struck him out. Just blew away Okamu. I remember at one point, there's a little nubber up the third baseline. Hamilton picks it up barehanded. Nice play. Throws to first. Sabato was pulled off the bag. Couldn't quite leave a spike on the base at first. Long set. Swung on and hit left side of the diamond. Maggi has it at third. Goes to second for one. Steers relay. Not in time to get two throughout the course of this camp. Runner goes, swinging, miss. Hamilton blows one by Downs. And Ian Hamilton, well done. A couple of more strikeouts for the right-hander from the state of Washington. Sabato awaits. Swung on a miss. He struck him out. Older guy from college. He's too old for the league. He's not going to win the award this week. Not gonna, but I was the chairman of the Spencer Steer fan club. It's a swinging miss, and down he goes. Two strikeouts. Jet we'll be at JetBlue on Saturday. The pitch swung on and missed. He struck him out. Espinal fans the side, and this ball game is over. So through two games of this Chairman's Cup series, the Red Sox and the Twins have split right down the middle.